Hey guys, this is Matthew Ridgway, also known as D&D Matt, also known as Slow Ham, if you're familiar with the Test Chamber Gaming uh, webcast. Uh, so I'm here with my good friend Darren, also known as Darkstar. He's my he's the co-founder and uh, uh, co-host of uh, the Test Chamber. So me and him actually just did an entire video on THQ and the fall of... Warhammer 40k online dark heresy <laughs> or dark millennium sorry and uh after we recorded the entire thing my recording program said we're sorry your program has stopped functioning fuck you up the ass you piece of shit and it just cancelled so we just said to hell with it we're not recording it again it was not very polite no it wasn't was it? so uh, we, we just decided fuck it we're gonna make a video on my youtube because I don't care what you people think on on my channel at least no I I do you guys are great so uh, anyway what, uh, guys nobody watches this hey people watch my channel I've got over <laughs> 300 views on on oh, my I'm uh, sure. I'm sure on my uh, Team Fortress stuff I mean I got like 50 thumbs down for some reason even though I was like number one on the server but whatever anyway um, so so uh, today we're talking about in infern- how do you how do you pronounce it in for no, for no, in for no. There's no e. It's inferno without an e, so it's in for no, in for no. You sound really retarded. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I, I'm trying to pronounce it without the e. In for no, in for no. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> Do you need help? Are you, are, you, are you feeling okay? Are you foaming at the mouth yet? Or? Okay, so I found out about this on Facebook because uh, I just met a I just met a dude uh, in Denver who plays D and D and everything, and I added him to yeah, Facebook. Yeah. And uh, on his Facebook, it, it said, uh, you know, it, it was one of those automated Facebook posts that whenever you join something, you know what I mean, and. Uh, it said like he's playing retro gaming with this and I was like, oh, I'll look at it. So I looked at it and the website's pretty hard to understand at first, which I'll go ahead and give you guys a little tutorial on how to set it up and everything. But um, uh, I set up my profile with Facebook and I made a game and so, uh, and I set up a character, which I didn't do much. You can really get into the character stuff, but uh, me and Darkstar are actually in the game right now. Hello, people. Hello. Yeah, and so um, this is actually the game table. It's really cool. Um, my computer has a problem with whenever I try and use Skype or MSN or whatever, and I try and use a webcam with it, it crashes my internet. Don't know why, it just does. And this uses a flash sort of thing, so it's more like Omegle, uh, how they use webcam and stuff. And you can use multiple people. Omegle. Huh? <laughs> Don't reference Omegle, please. <laughs> yeah, it is a very bad place to be. Um, uh, so yeah, we and you see that little stick figure. That is actually Dark Star or Darren here, um, messing around with the system. And you can do all sorts of really cool stuff. So um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you can do shit like that. But luckily, as game master, I can just do this. Yeah, you could have deleted it. I beat you to it. Yeah, and so, um, first of all, uh, let me just go through and show you what all you can do. For, this is the grid. You don't have to have a grid. If you don't, it looks like a chalkboard, which I like the grid. It uh, helps out with um, your characters and stuff, and you can choose the opacity. I like it at about 50. And you can also actually choose how big it is. I like it at about 50 again. Um, get rid of Pac-Man there. Hey. And so it has a mouse tool that allows you to select things. <laughs> it has a drawing tool that allows you to draw, which I have a tablet. I'm not using it right now, so I could actually draw some really good stuff. And see, right now, because I'm still drawing it, Darren doesn't see it. Right, Darren? You don't see no, nothing? I don't, I, don't see, I don't see anything. I no. stop drawing, but then I go up here and select the mouse. Bam, he sees it. No. Yeah. And uh, you can rotate. You can... Select it and change its size, all sorts of shit. And whenever you do this, he can see it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can add text. So like, um... no, 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 no. 
and what's even go there. What's what's really cool is uh, it's got these little pre-made shapes, and over here in the corner, you see that it's got several different little things. Basic, oops, it's got basic where you can um, scroll down and all of this, and it's got business meetings, communication. The communication is like a bubble. This isn't the test chamber. I could, I could curse if I want to. Whoops. Mm -hmm. And so, there we go. And then I can select all of this now. Which, I can't really see anyone using this for D&D. &D. Honestly, the little bubbles and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I can see you know, little, little miniatures on there with a speech bubble. Yeah, no, work. I was going to say, if maybe uh, there are multiple NPCs, and me, for instance, I'm not good at voice acting. One of the things that all my players have made fun of me over the years is whenever there's a female, I don't change my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to change my voice to sound like a female because then no one could take it seriously. Hello, I'm a female. That's horrible. Yeah, that was more Sorry, of a goblin. I just... Yeah, I... yeah that, I was about to say that was <laughs> perfect goblin. So, sorry, all the, to all the women who are watching this, I can't, Shit. I can't imitate you. I'm sorry. Um, and so I don't now want to. I don't Wonderful. want you guys looking at my pictures, so I'm gonna. Well, I guess there's no way I can get around it, is there? So I'm gonna pause. Oh God, what? What are you? Okay, so you sorry about the little pause. I just didn't want you guys looking at uh, my personal folders. Uh, I got a lot of random crap in there. So I, I actually made the well, I didn't make the sprites, but I edited them to um, be gifs. So what I did was I just took a picture. Uh, I just googled 16-bit um, sprites. And uh, it came up with this one that was really cool. It had a whole bunch of different sprites on it, uh, really good for just basic stuff. And uh, I liked this. I liked these two. So uh, just to test it out, I took them into Adobe Photoshop 7, I believe is what I have. Anyway, um, yeah, 7. And so uh, you took you take the image into there, you crop it or whatever, and then. Uh, you select, you do the magic wand, and you select and invert the selection so it will only select uh, the little image. Then you don't just save it as a GIF; you save it for you. You click save for web, and then you make sure to save it as a GIF that way, and uh, it will um, it will actually make it to where you it doesn't show the little white. So I'm gonna blow this guy up real quick so you can see. You actually can see the white right here, which I have not got rid of under his cape. And yeah, you can make the guy like big and little and stuff like that. So that's really cool. I really like that. I usually make them about like that big, so that they can kind of fill up a square. Yeah, and then this guy, the human on top, needs to be about the same size, so he would actually be about that big. And you can move them around on the map anywhere. Uh, players can upload their own uh, pictures and stuff like that, which. I could see it getting in the way sometimes of a serious dungeon master and really goofy players like posting porn and stuff like that. Um, oh, oh, um, yeah. Hmm. I could see that as being a, a serious problem. <laughs> so now, if you were in a if you were in an actual game and something like that happened, it might be kind of annoying. But of course, I think you have the option to kick people. Let's see. What was I looking for? I, I I'm still I'm still not fully familiar with this game with this whole system so there might be a way to kick people off I'm just not sure. You can change the cell width and opacity or opacity of the grid. You yeah. can even turn the grid off. Oh, you don't see the grid? No, I well, I, I can turn it off for one. I can hit this button and. Oh you still yeah, see the grid? yeah, you did it. Okay, I was wondering if you could see the grid that I put up or not. So yeah, you deleted the grid just yeah. then. So yeah, cool. every I think everybody has the av ability to mess around with everything, just like the dungeon master. I don't think it's necessarily restricted to the players. Um, I mean, restricted to the dungeon master. So down here in the corner, it's got text, which is pretty cool. Um, which I kind of like to see the video. Make sure my players aren't wanking over in the corner while I'm talking about the seductive elf, the seductive elf maiden. God, I can't fucking talk. Um, and so it says right here 2d10 plus 3 so let's try an example 3d oops d8 
plus six, enter. And it automatically rolls for you. And it tells you in commas what each one made. So that's a re that's really cool. I really like that. Um, so it totals 21. Or if you just wanted to like roll 1d20, you just roll 1d20. I rolled an 11. Oh, and so shit. that keeps people from cheating, which is a major problem good. I had with uh, MSN is you never know if people are cheating or not because they just roll the dice and then tell you what they made. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, and then it's got all these little things here and uh, you can upload all sorts of pictures and stuff so the game table is really helpful in fact you could probably even play games like Warhammer on this just make just say that like each square represents one inch or actually measure it out to equal one inch and stuff like that so that's pretty cool um, let's talk about character creation so you do the character name the genre of the game you're playing the system you're playing guild I'm not sure that's probably for people who just play in random groups. Uh, the server, not sure about that either. Level, just put like level one or whatever. And then attributes, it's got six. So of course this would be STR, the score you rolled in the modifier, any notes that you need. So DEX, CON. And you can add or remove. So it, you could do this for like any system. Um, skills, and there's only three, but it's it looks like it's set up to Dungeons and Dragons style so you can add like a ton of them you can remove them skill specialization I'm not really sure what this is this is probably from some other system uh, special attributes again this looks like Dungeons and Dragons style uh, qualities and features again D&D kind of style uh, racial abilities special abilities so it's just like a character sheet except it's um lined up and down pretty pretty cool uh, powers you're pretty cool well thank you powers I think this is sort of like a, 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 a de superhero kind of thing I'm not entirely sure combat I don't know damage uh, I usually it's kind of uh, it's kind of just like pick and choose whatever I mean it, it it seems pr to work pretty bland. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? It seems easy to use. Um, now, as for using your stats on like a character, for instance, I'm not actually sure. I still haven't figured that out. So, let's see. What is this? What is this? No. So it's still loading that. Um, and yeah, you can see Darren said Bazinga here, so you can actually t uh, talk. It's just because it's black, it's just black and white. It your text words could get lost in the fray, uh, so to speak. Now, yesterday we were having a problem with voice lag. I would say something, and then like literally the longest one was about forty-five seconds. So there was like a forty-five second voice lag, which was ridiculous. Um, and so I recommend using Skype because Skype seems to work p fantastic for voice. It never drops the call. Me and D me and Darren here have been on this call for like over an hour because we were doing the other video and all that stuff. So um, I recommend using Skype because it has fantastic calls. Uh, you never have to worry about it dropping. Well, usually it does sometimes and you don't really have to worry about uh, the the voice and stuff like that so and I'm not sure what just happened here I tried to go to my I tried to go to my player stats and it sent me to just games that are being played so I don't know I still haven't figured out the whole character because you don't know what you're doing <laughs> what Do happened you? to my video is it off I don't know. It was where it was up here on mine, and it just disappeared. Hmm. All on my own. Do you still? I didn't notice. I was, I was playing Minecraft. <laughs> do you still? Do you still see my my webcam? No, you're 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 gone. It's just me. Okay, oh, no. so again, this is probably a good reason to use uh, Skype because I'm using. We're still using the Skype voice, so we know that we're still here. Uh, just for some reason, my webcam has disappeared. So that's really bizarre. You you are really bizarre. Oh, I thank you. But I'm sure that this is all I have to do, so I'll just copy this and then uh 
open a new tab and just join again. So my little webcam just blinked off, saying that it's off. Now it's back on. And and we're back. Okay, so um. Oh, I'm You're back. I, hang on. Back. There. Okay. Hello. Voice is better. Okay, so uh, everything stays there, by the way. So if if I close, and if Darren closes, and everybody in the party closes, uh, and we leave our miniatures standing right where they were, right here, they would stay there. Like uh, we just played around with it yesterday and made, and drew some stuff, and uh, yeah, uh, we definitely played around with it. Yeah, we got carried we destroyed away. Destroyed my drawings. Yeah, uh, and we turned it on this morning, and um, it was still there, still, still just sitting around. So that's really cool. Uh, I don't know how long it lasts, so I don't know if it lasts like days, if it only lasts twenty four hours, or if it lasts like years. So uh, it also says your ping up here. So it says my ping is two forty one, uh, which I'm connected through a USB uh, uh, Wi Fi adapter right now because. Because uh, we haven't moved out yet, so I'm not, I'm like not allowed to touch the router. You know, the whole fix your grandpa's computer once, get blamed for every technical problem that happens thereafter. That's, that's what happens to me. They asked me to fix the printer, and then from then on, everything that went wrong is my fault. Don't know why. It is your fault. Everything's your fault. I know. So it's I can't. Your fault. So I can't pour with, uh, pour with the forts. I can't, I can't port the <laughs> port forwarding. Yeah, we came up with a song yeah. called Port Forwarding, and Did. it's just that uh, classic epic song, except with the words Port Forwarding. Yeah, yeah I it. really wish I could remember what the song was called. That know. was that was almost um, as bad as not remembering Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> yeah, Dar he went on for days. <laughs> why, just why was I humming that? Why? Oh, I, I remember it's from Family Guy, too. You probably saw it on Family Guy. Probably. Um, anyway, yeah, my ping is extraordinarily bad. Uh, it's usually just like 100, but whenever I'm directly routed, or di directly connected to the router, I'll be able to actually forward all the proper ports and everything and quit relying on Hamachi and stuff like that. So you'll notice a little black line, and Darren, Darren and I both did the same exact thing. We were like, mm -hmm, what is that black line on my webcam? And uh, <laughs> kinda... it's... It, yeah, it's only on your picture. It shows your ping. So if your ping goes up, the little line goes up. And if it goes down, the line goes down. So it actually tracks. So if you're on there for a long time, you will... There it is. You'll actually see a line go all the way across. Oh, there it goes. It just p ticked a little bit more. Okay, so... Uh, My ping is huge. This is the coolest little thing I think that I found in a long time, especially for D&D. &D. Not just D&D. &D, it's just cool to mess around with and have fun. Um... I was looking for something like this for so long, and I just happened to come across come across this because of somebody on Facebook. So, it's free. Like it has an advanced option called D, sorry D20 Pro, which I think the D20 Pro just has like little blocks and stuff that you can put up there without having to make your own gifts like I did. But I actually enjoy making it. So uh, I'm actually going to take some of the gifts that I found and recolor them and. Uh, you know, do all that sort of thing to make them look like my uh, my own personal characters. Um, but yeah, this is just a really cool little thing, and uh, you can make your own characters. You can write, you know, your bios and stuff about them. Actually, I need to test something out real quick, because like like I said, I haven't actually uh, worked too much on this, so. Oh yeah, this is how you start a this is how you start a game. You click on your name, which takes you to your personal profile. You click new game, and then you click new character. So, uh, let's look at my characters. GM Matt, there's my character, which isn't really a character, but whatever. And you sure. can you can edit the character sheet and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, and you can print your character sheet, which is really cool. Uh, now you can share your character, but I don't actually know how to get the character working on this. Whoops. 
Oh, okay. So you click on your little character, and it says your XP and all that, and it it says it should say everything on there. So let's go and edit my character just a little bit, just to test it out. Uh, attributes: two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. STR. Whoops. Uh, DX. C O N. Oops. Uh, w I S. And I'm just going to write a random score. So 12, 11, 10, uh, 14, 15, 18. I uh, wonder if you can guess what I am. <laughs> Spellcaster. Anyway, uh, modifier. I think you're a slow ham. 10, 11, yes. 10, 11, 12, so that's 1, 0, 0, 2, 2, 4. I think. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So I'm just going to add that for right now. Save character. Oh, yeah, and you can put your possessions and everything. So. Uh, close that. And it still doesn't say anything, so I'm going to refresh. And every time you refresh, it brings up this little screen that shows your full webcam, which it cuts off a huge chunk of it. So I'm actually using my PS3 move, so it actually basically does that right there. Um, you can also change your audio. You can save the settings, which doesn't really appear to save it. It's got a little loading bar here. It loads everything that you had before. Uh, now I'm gonna click to your mat. Yeah, and there it is. So that's really cool. So uh, if you make your character, whoops, I gotta mute myself. So if you make your character, you just go up here to your little character right here, and then you can just do that. Let's see if it. Uh, kind of post it sloppy, but at least you could just copy and paste if you need. So, I really got nothing else to say about this thing. It's just really cool, really good for D and D. Um, and hey, Darren, do a little do a little experiment. Uh, take the take the dragon and just kind of move him around the map so that I can show everybody that. Uh, yeah, see, so he just moved, and so uh, you you can track where he moved, and then. Stop moving. Stop moving it real quick. And then I can actually right click it and maybe not. I thought you could move. Oh, there we go. Well, maybe not. I guess you can't. Okay, so if, if he was like right here and I said you could move six, so he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and then he decides he wants to cheat and goes seven. And since he puts it like right there, I could say, you know, I could count from where he was and go, no, he's right here. And so, you know, it's just like miniatures on the table. So, again, I recommend using Skype while using this. The voice is really good. Um, I guess it depends on how big your party is. My party right now is just going to be Darren here and a friend of mine named Carl. Uh, and so it's just going to be us three. Uh, maybe another person. I really doubt it, though. Most of my other friends who I play online with don't have a webcam. So, I don't know. I got nothing else to say about this thing. It's just really cool. Darren, do you have anything to say? No. You pretty much covered it. All right. Well, we've spent almost 25 minutes, so, I mean, I guess we should stop the video. And plus, my ping keeps going higher and higher and higher. So, uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and stop the video here. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, or have any requests of anything you'd like me to draw, anything you'd like me to talk about, just let me know. I am still planning on doing a how to play D&D 3.5 tutorial uh, for all of those of you who are like 4E fans that want to get into the old school stuff. Um, I also uh, I don't know how to play 4E very well so I'm going to be learning how to play it uh, by myself, maybe with someone else, and um, posting my learning process on, the, on here as well. I'll be doing more art and all that just you know, I'll be doing lots of stuff. It's just going to take me a while to get the videos up. So, anyway, 
This was Slow Ham, and that is Dark Star. Mm -hmm. From the test chamber, uh, I'm D and D Matt, also known as, or I'm Matthew Ridgeway, also known as D and D Matt on YouTube. Uh, anyway. You're gonna have to change that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Just that. I have so many names going around. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish I could change my YouTube channel name to Slowham, but I don't know how. I don't think you can. Anyway. You can't. Yeah, exactly. And I don't want. I, I can upload unlimited uh, videos now, so I really don't want to have to make a new account just for that. Well, anyway, this was us being bored, dicking about in Inferno. 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 Yeah. Oh, look, you've distracted me now. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Inferno. 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 It sounds like I'm going. It sounds like I'm saying something backwards. <laughs> Inferno. Too much fun. Inferno.